Well, I would like to start the video from the recommendation. This will be a channel of an aggressive skating lady, the real pro. This is Coco and the channel called Flower She Rolls. I do not often recommend channels about aggressive inline skating, but Coco started to make some videos with some tips on learning how to skate. And one of her last videos, the video how to fall and why, gave me an idea for this particular video. So I really recommend her channel. It has not only interesting educating videos, but also some really video masterpieces, with a great music, video editing and even some poetry. I will leave the link in the comments. And also don't forget to check my video with the recommendations from the last year and the previous year. The corresponding playlists are also in the comments. And this is not the last recommendation in that video, so watch it till the end. And we are starting. Hello Youtubers, my name is Nixvi, you are on the channel for those who love inline skating and wants to progress in it, and we will continue talking about inline skating on this channel, no matter what terrible things are happening around us. Today I would like to talk with you about the mind paradoxes of inline skating, about the flow and introducing of some tricks into that flow. At first I would like to show you how I was struggling with jump over that cylinder trash urn. Pretty common obstacle in the city. This one looks a little bit higher than the usual ones, but anyway it's not too high to provide any troubles to me. I mean I know that I can jump the things much higher than that, but... Obviously, the material from which this obstacle is made doesn't influence the height of the required jump. But this is where mind paradoxes take place. All starts with visualization and I can easily visualize the successful attempt. But also I can visualize me tripping over that urn, hitting my foot, my ankle or even a head. And it is metal, it is hard and it has sharp edges. So obviously the material of an obstacle influences my fear of that jump that gives some strange results, like that clumsy side jumps, or even no jumps at all. If it was a soft trash bag or a snow drift, I will jump over it without such a hesitation. Moreover, my stupid mind takes into account not only the urn itself, but also the surface around it. I do not trip on tiles much, I have the special tips to skate on tiles, but I imagine that I can trip right now, and that will ruin my jump also. All that effects will be minimal in the conditions of training or sport high jumping, because there will be familiar surfaces, light obstacles and a ton of attempts. But in the conditions of a city, they become crucial. I hope that having come through all that practice, I will return back next day for example and will be able to jump over that urn without ruining my flow. But who knows, maybe there will be a puddle in front of it. And now it's time to talk about the flow itself. There is another problem. Pure city flow doesn't give you much time for preparation, for visualization. You have to move on a speed to overcome one obstacle, then another one, and another one. Sometimes it looks clumsy, and all that can help you is a video editing. The flow is difficult, it's even nervous. This is in fact a constant analytical work of your brain, with a lot of complex inputs. What you have to do here is to find your own balance of analysis and free mind. Visualize, but don't over-visualize. Be cautious, but don't be paralyzed by fear. Practice till you will get to the automatic level of required skill, 
and that will give you the needed satisfaction, the real joy of city skating flow, that feeling of freedom and superhuman capabilities that we all love so much in inline skating. And in the end, as I've promised, I want to recommend you another channel. This is a channel of a professional inline skating instructor who lives in Kyiv. It's called Bogdan Roliki. I'm watching this channel for some time now, but only recently Bogdan started publishing videos in English. This recommendation is probably the smallest thing that I can do for him, taking into account all the things that are happening right now. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed. Share that video in your social media. By the way, I've started my Telegram channel not a long time ago, so check it also. See you next time. Bye.